Ever wondered why the year 4000 BC holds such significance in human history? This time period represents a transformative era, a pivotal moment that shaped the trajectory of human civilization as we know it. On the fertile banks of the Nile, we see the rise of early Egyptian culture. This was the pre-dynastic period, a time before the grandeur of the pharaohs, but no less important. In fact, this era laid the very foundations upon which the spectacular edifice of pharaonic Egypt would later rise. Picture this, distinct cultures emerging along the Nile, each with their unique traditions and beliefs, yet bound together by the life-giving river. This was a time of development, of communities growing and learning how to harness the river's bounty. It set the stage for the unification of Egypt, a monumental event that would lead to the dawn of the pharaonic era. An age of pyramids and golden sarcophagi, of hieroglyphs and divine rulers. But the Nile wasn't the only cradle of civilization during this time. Far from the river's banks, another significant event was unfolding. The Sumerians in Mesopotamia, a region located between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, were establishing some of the earliest known cities. Uruk and Eridu were among these pioneering urban centers, marking an era of significant advancements in agriculture, writing, and city-state formation. In the same region, the Ubaid period was characterized by the expansion of settled communities. This was a time of significant developments in architecture, pottery, and societal structures. These advancements laid the foundation for later civilizations, influencing the course of human development for millennia to come. As we journey through this transformative period in human history, we can see the seeds of our modern world being sown. From the banks of the Nile to the fertile lands of Mesopotamia, the year 4000 BC was a time of growth, of change, of civilization taking root. As the Nile nurtured Egyptian civilization, something equally remarkable was happening in Mesopotamia. So buckle up and join us as we continue our journey through this fascinating era. Welcome to Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, a place where history's first recorded steps were taken and the foundations of our modern world were laid. The birthplace of the Sumerian civilization, Mesopotamia saw the establishment of the earliest known cities, including Uruk and Eridu, around 4000 BC. The Sumerians were master innovators, pioneering advancements in various fields. They were the ones who turned the wild landscape into a thriving agricultural hub. By harnessing the potential of the two great rivers, the Tigris and Euphrates, they transformed the arid terrains into lush fields of barley, wheat, and dates. This agricultural revolution provided the surplus needed to feed the growing urban populations of their city-states. In addition to agriculture, the Sumerians were the first to develop a form of writing known as cuneiform. The wedge-shaped characters etched on clay tablets were more than just symbols. They were a testament to the human desire for communication and expression forever changing our interaction with the world. The formation of city-states marked another significant milestone in the Sumerian civilization. Each city-state was an independent entity with its own ruler and deity, yet they shared common cultural and religious practices, creating a unique blend of unity and autonomy. As we transition from the Sumerian civilization, we enter the Ubaid period. This era was characterized by an expansion of settled communities, reflecting the steady growth of the population. The Ubaid period also witnessed significant developments in architecture and pottery. The Sumerians moved from simple reed huts to more complex brick houses, demonstrating their evolving understanding of structural design. In the world of pottery, they created beautifully decorated ceramics, showcasing the artistic prowess of the Sumerians. These pieces, often featuring geometric patterns and animal motifs, were not just functional items, but symbols of status and wealth. While Mesopotamia flourished, across the continent, Europe was witnessing the rise of megalithic cultures. From the fertile crescent to the stone structures of Western Europe. In the West, the fourth millennium BC was a time of grand architectural endeavors, megalithic monuments. These large stone structures peppered across Western Europe were not just feats of early engineering, but also symbols of complex societal structures and religious practices. Let's take a journey to this era, where the sound of stone against stone echoed across the landscape. 
The most common types of these megalithic structures were dolmens and menhirs. Dolmens, essentially stone tables, often served as burial sites, while menhirs, towering solitary stones, may have been used for astronomical observations or as territorial markers. These structures were not built by mere chance or for simple aesthetic purposes. They were the physical manifestations of a society that had the organization and manpower to undertake such large-scale projects. Furthermore, they are indicative of religious or spiritual beliefs that valued the monumental, the enduring. But the story of 4000 BC does not end there. From the stone-cold heart of Europe, we shift to the warmth of the Indus Valley. Here, nestled between the mighty Indus and the fertile plains, early settlements began to form. These were the seeds of what would later blossom into one of the world's first major urban civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization. These settlements were characterized by their well-planned cities, intricate drainage systems, and impressive brick constructions. But the beginnings were humble. Initial settlements were simple, yet they laid down the blueprint for the complex cities that were to come. This period was one of discovery and innovation. It was a time when humans were establishing their place in the world, not just as wanderers, but as settlers, builders, dreamers. The stone structures of Western Europe and the early settlements of the Indus Valley are testament to this. These early settlements were fueled by one significant global development, the rise of agricultural societies. As we will see, this shift towards agriculture was not just about food, it was the spark that ignited the flame of civilization. Agriculture, the catalyst for permanent settlements and the beginnings of urbanization. Around 4,000 years before Christ, a significant shift occurred in human societies across the globe. The art of agriculture, once a novelty, began to spread like wildfire. Our ancestors started to understand the rhythm of seasons, the science of seeds, and the dance of rain and sun that brought forth bountiful harvests. This newfound knowledge transformed nomadic tribes into settled communities, trading the uncertainty of hunting and gathering for the stability of growing their own food. From the fertile banks of the Nile to the rich soils of the Yellow River, from the lush Indus Valley to the abundant plains of Mesopotamia, the earth bloomed under the tender care of its human custodians. These permanent settlements were the precursors to the bustling cities and sprawling metropolises we're familiar with today. With a stable food source, populations grew and societies began to diversify. Craftsmen, artisans and traders emerged, transforming these agrarian societies into vibrant centers of human activity and ingenuity. And speaking of ingenuity, let's transition into the Copper Age. As these societies grew and developed, so did their need for better tools and crafting techniques. Enter copper, a malleable and versatile metal whose discovery marked a significant milestone in human history. Copper was more than just a shiny novelty, it was a game changer. With copper, our ancestors could craft stronger tools, more durable weapons, and intricate jewelry. This not only improved their daily lives, but also opened up new avenues for trade and economic growth. The Copper Age was a time of incredible innovation and creativity, setting the stage for future technological advancements. But the Copper Age was not just about tools and crafting, it also set the stage for another key development, writing systems. But we'll save that intriguing tale for the next chapter. Stay tuned. Communication evolved, and so did human expression. Around 4000 BC, the seeds of what would grow into our modern systems of writing were being sown. Early forms of record-keeping emerged, with societies seeking a means to document their activities, transactions, and events. These early scribbles were not just practical, but symbolic, representing the first steps towards the abstraction of thought and the codification of human experience. Parallel to this, there was a significant evolution in pottery making. As societies grew more complex, so too did their technologies and artistic expressions. The humble clay pot was no longer just a utilitarian item, but a canvas for human creativity. Pottery techniques advanced with artisans experimenting with different styles and forms, pushing the boundaries of what was possible with clay and fire. These pottery pieces were not just containers for grain or water, but containers for culture, carrying within their forms the ideas, beliefs, and aesthetic sensibilities of their creators. 
But the story of 4000 BC is not just one of practical advancements. It was a time of cultural and artistic flowering. Art became increasingly sophisticated, with societies creating intricate works of art and ornamentation. These were not just decorative items, but expressions of identity, of community, of belief. They reflected the complexity and diversity of early human societies, each one a testament to the unique perspective of its creator. These developments, the emergence of writing, the evolution of pottery, the flourishing of art, these were not isolated incidents. They were all part of a larger tapestry of human progress, of societies pushing the boundaries of what was known, of humans seeking to understand and shape the world around them. So, the next time you wonder about the significance of 4000 BC, remember this was a time when the foundations of our modern world were being laid. The year 4000 BC was a pivotal moment in human history. From the rise of early Egyptian culture to the Sumerian civilization in Mesopotamia, from the megalithic cultures in Europe to the early settlements in the Indus Valley, this era was a crucible of innovation and progress. Advancements in agriculture, metallurgy, writing, pottery, and cultural expressions laid the foundations of our modern world. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into our past.